Hi, I'm Rob. I'm one of the owners here at Aquavita Pools in Evansville, Indiana. And uh, today we're going to do some short videos for you, um, you know, explaining some of the products that we sell and service. Hi, I'm Rob, and today we're going to talk about variable speed pumps. Um, one of the questions we get a lot of times in the winter is, you know, especially like towards the fall when we're closing pools is, you know, a lot of customers will be out there talking to us and they kind of want to know, you know, well, what do you guys do all winter long? And um, one of the things we do in the winter, um, both for our staff and our service techs and even our customers is, you know, we try to do some, you know, research um, on products. Um, there's a lot of pool products made out there. Some of them, you know, are really good products. Some of them are not. Um, there's a lot of hype. Um, of course, your sales reps always tell you that their product's the best, and we want to make sure we're bringing you products that truly are the best and that are serviceable and a good value. And one of the things we're doing this winter is we are kind of doing some R&D against two of the most popular variable speed pumps out there on the market currently, and that's going to be our Hayward Super Pump VS, um, which we sell here at No More or at Aquavita Pools, and our Pintair Super Flow VS. Um, these are both two of the probably more popular pumps on the market for VS. They're, they're both really good pumps made by good manufacturers that are really popular uh, in the pool industry. And uh, you'll notice that the black Hayward VS pump looks a little different. Um, we have the display off of that. And that's one of the neat features about the Hayward VS pump is you can mount the control panel remotely, um, so to speak. Um, that way, you know, if it's harder for you to bend over, to reach down to, to do those types of things to get to the buttons that you know operate the pump you can mount it up on the on the side of the house or a post or a stand or uh, if you have a difficult situation where you can't really get to the pump it makes it a little easier to access so that's one of the nice features um, but today we're going to kind of talk about you know you think you got a vs pump and a vs pump same class you know and the reason you buy a vs pump is you know it's a better built pump and it's going to save you energy um, you know, dramatically over um, a single speed pump like a lot of us are used to that was kind of the industry standard for years and now everything's going to these VS pumps. Um, we've installed a lot of these over the years and you know, I, would, I was kind of surprised when we did this how much difference there was in energy efficiency and um, some other things we'll talk other, you know, more in depth in later videos. Um, but for today to show you this um, kind of you know, real-time information. Um, what we've done here with some of our service techs in the back is we've basically plumbed both of these pumps into this blue barrel of water, um, wired them both up the same, and you can put them into this box. And this box that we made, we went out and got some uh, meters that we can read the real-time data off of these pumps, kind of an identical controlled situation, so to speak. Um, to make it uh, simple. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn both of these pumps on here in just a second and we're going to bring them both up to identical RPMs and for the sake of this little demonstration we're just going to both run them on max RPM which is 3,450 RPMs. And this, this little meters here will show us um, how many amps they're drawing, how many watts or kilowatts they're using, and we'll show you that one of these pumps is far superior, in our opinion, than the other. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the Hayward one on first. Now I'm gonna turn the Pintair BS pump on. Now both of these pumps are up and running. Uh, this one's running at 3450. You can see the RPMs on the display. And if we come over here and look at our Hayward VS pump, we'll be seeing that it's running on Quick Clean, which is 3450 RPMs as well. And now if we go to our little box that we set up here, I'll explain this to you briefly. Uh, you can see that the Hayward pump is here on the top display and the Pintair pump is on the bottom display. 
And as you can see here, this is the current or the amount of amps that it's drawing to, the amount of you know energy it's using to run that pump. And the Hayward pump is currently drawing 6.24 uh, amps. The Pentair pump is drawing you know quite a bit more, 13.6 amps. So keep in mind they're running at the same RPMs. And then this is really what's interesting. So when you get your Vectran or Center Point bill or whoever your utility company is. Um, you know, your, if you look on your bill, it says, you know, you use so many kilowatt hours and then they bill you accordingly. And this is, this kind of puts it in perspective for you guys at home. Um, you'll see here that the Hayward pump is drawing 727 watts. And if you come down here, you'll see that the Pentair pump is drawing 1.45 kilowatts. And kilowatts is what you probably see on your bill at home. And that's what they bill you on. Every kilowatt hour, they charge you a rate. And that rate depends on your utility company. So you're like, well, this one says kilowatts and this one says watts. Well, you would think, you know, initially that this one is less efficient because this is a bigger number than this one. But watts, it takes a thousand watts to equal one kilowatt. And you can see the kilowatt hours versus the watt hours here. And so actually this one is roughly, you know, um, you know, half, you know, it's drawing half the kilowatts of this one. So this pump, the Hayward pump is, much more efficient than the Pentair pump. And that kind of surprised me even, you know, and I've been in the pool industry for 25 plus years and, you know, variable speed pumps are something that's gotten more popular here within the last five years. And I thought that that would be close. I knew there wouldn't be exact uh, just because of the motors and things like that, but I thought that that would be a lot closer. And that's one of the reasons that we kind of do some of this stuff and we'll show you some other videos down the road um, that kind of explain that just because you buy a VS pump or it's touted to be energy star efficient or the best pump doesn't mean that they're always, you know, necessarily apples to apples. And so this is some of the stuff that we do that we try to bring added value to our customer base um, to let them know that not only are they getting, you know, a good branded product, but that product is actually, you know, doing what it says it should do, which is, you know, when you buy a VS pump, you want to save the most, the most money. So thanks for tuning in today, guys, and I hope you found this helpful.